All right. Hey, everybody. This is Dr. Robert Wolkers, physical therapist with Haymarket Physical Therapy. And I'm going to be taking you guys through the anterior cruciate ligament. We're going to show you guys an anterior cruciate ligament tear. And then we're also going to show you guys what it looks like to do a reconstruction. So without further ado, we're going to look into um, this structure right here is going to be I'm bringing me over. This structure right here is going to be your femur, your patella, your tibia. This here is going to be your um, fibula. You have your LCL attaching from your distal femur to your proximal uh, fibula. And then you also have your MCL here attaching from your distal femur and your proximal tibia. So I'm going to play this video here. So this is going to be kind of an illustration of what the ACL looks like. So the ACL is deep inside the, um, the joint there itself at the knee. You have the back side of the um, ACL, and you have the front side here. So basically you have the posterior aspect and the anterior aspect. So what's going to happen when you guys just saw, so I'm going to bring this video back a little bit here. When you saw a knee flexion, uh, your, your posterior end isn't going to be moving. It's basically sound. And your ACL on the front side here, your anterior portion, is going to bend back. This guy right now is in an open chain position. So that means that the tibia is not in contact with the floor. It's basically like if you were standing up and just simply bending your knee, that's called an open packed or open um, open chain position. So it's going to be coming out this way and then extending. You're going to see a translation here. So there's the translation to the tibia. Um, so let me stop it right there. Um, let me bring up this pen. So there's an end and there's an end just like that. That translation of the tibia forward, the ACL prevents that from happening. Okay, so the ACL becomes taut when that happens, kind of like a rubber band. So now if I take that off and kind of let the video play through a little bit more, you're going to see the translation back and forth. So there is a little bit of give there, but shouldn't be too much. The ACL is also in play with medial rotation of the tibia. Now we're gonna come over here to a video. I'm gonna show you guys what an ACL tear looks like. So an ACL tear is going to occur. It's uh, most commonly occurs when having the upper leg displaced backwards or sideways by impact. Okay, so what that kind of looks like here is there's your ACL itself, there's the anterior portion, there's the posterior. Okay, so as you guys can just see that blunt force just kind of came in here, it's gonna come in here, it's going to hit the femur. The femur is going to go back this way. And then it's going to cause this and this to kind of get separated. And then it's going to result in an ACL tear. So let's let that play through a little bit. Boom, there's the tear. Or you can, or you could at least see the strain occurring. So the strain is going to start occurring more in through this area here. And then we're just going to let this ride out a little bit more. Boom, right there is the actual tear itself. And now you have an ACL injury. Okay, so now I'm going to bring you guys down to, now when you have the ACL, when you guys have the MCL, and then you have the meniscus itself, um, if that's all injured, that's going to be called the unhappy um, triad. Okay, so that's when all three of those guys, you can kind of check them off here, are torn. So now we come over here to the ACL reconstruction. Uh, the videos itself is going to be using a patella graft. Some people get um, hamstring grafts. Some people get allografts where they use uh, cadavers or something like that. Um, so we're going to let this guy kind of play through here. Let's take on ACL tear here, reconstruction with the patella, with the patella graft. So let me kind of show you guys here. There's your patella, femur, tibia, Fibula, this is your lateral side, this is your medial side. So as you can kind of see in the video here, there's the ACL itself, there's the anterior portion, there's the proximal. Actually, what I wanna show you guys too, I'm gonna to bring you back a scooch because that was a good description of it. So basically, the um, posterior aspect is coming off the lateral condyle and then the uh, anterior aspect is going to the mid medial portion of the tibia. So we're gonna let that kind of ride out a little bit more. Here comes your blunt force trauma, boom. It's going to separate and cause that to tear. So basically we need to get that repaired using the patella graft. So there's the patella itself. Basically what they do is they take a fragment of the bone here at the patella, 
fragment of bone down here at the tibial tuberosity, and then they cut a line right in the patellar tendon itself. So we're gonna let that kind of play through. They're gonna sew that back together. Okay, so then you got your sutures there in the patella itself. Coming in around here into the ACL, you're going to have a drill coming up. Now, this is just a video kind of showing um, typical ACL. Some doctors do different approaches. Um, so just to kind of take this with a grain of salt. So here comes the new piece of the patella that you just had. There's two ends of the bone that we're trying to adhere here. Like I said, you're off the medial portion of the tibia. You're off the lateral portion of the um, femur. So as we kind of go into that area now, uh, patella is coming back over. You have the um, the new structure here. Let me let me bring this back a little bit here to about right. There, drills coming up, coming right in that surface there, and then right there. So that's a good picture of it. Oh, I just lost it. Sorry about that. Let me pause, and then I'll just kind of toggle through. There you go. So what we're looking for here is you can now have a new line coming through. Um, that bone here is going to start to adhere to the femur. This bone here is going to start adhering to the tibia. And then go from there. And you also have that drill mark here. And then you also have an injury site here because the patella was cut and compromised. And that's like a lot of people after ACL construction have some pain in through there, especially on top of the kneecap. Obviously, if they had a patellar graft, no different than if they had the hamstring graft, they would have some pain back in through there. So once again, this was the ACL, ACL tear, and then ACL reconstruction. Um, so we'll be talking a little bit later about what a rehab progression looks like. Um, so I look forward to talking to you guys. This, once again, is Dr. Robert Wolkers, physical therapist with Haymarket PT. And it was, uh, th and thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my page um, if you want to see more videos or if you know anybody that could benefit from these videos, um, share with them or tag them. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon.